Hello everyone, Kap here and welcome back to some more The Last Man Survivor. Let us go with the newly unlocked Necromancer today. I'm curious to see how this one is. So I already looked at the stats here. Um, this guy has multi-shot instead of here explosion radius for example for the Enchantress. Has a lot more health, more magic armor, a bit less speed. And a ton more weight limit, so... Okay, I feel like the stats on the Necromancer seem pretty good. Um, also, what I would like to do here today... I will do two runs, probably. The first one, I would actually do... Uh, I will like to go... Would like to go on the first map on hard mode, after all. Um, because... There are quests for this. Uh, for one, this one, go through the gloomy wasteland in hard mode, and that unlocks Amulet on, of Infinity. Um, I assume that's good, I don't know, but I would like to have it. Also, survive 15 minutes without restoring health. There are no health drops, no healing crystals from the boxes. I think it's almost necessary that you go hard mode to complete this uh, quest here, um, because the boxes regularly drop health and you just run if you run around you will randomly pick up health and then you cannot do this one i guess one other way to do it is just to stand still near the starting area or whatever and uh, not really move for 15 minutes but that's kind of boring so uh, let's do these two quests on hard mode map one and then after that we can go into the second map once more and try to beat the second map so for now, let's go hard mode map 1 with the Necromancer. Let's go. Let's see how this one is. Uh, let's go to the skill. The attack. Oh, he's shooting skulls. Wow, cool horn, man. <laughs> that was so stupid. Um, okay. Uh, we also get uh, less experience, by the way. And uh, maybe you could... Uh, if you want to know what exactly hard mode is, you can go back and pause the video there and read the text. Um, I forgot what else. I think more enemies, harder enemies, they hurt more, they do more damage and everything. Uh, you get less XP and no health drops. Something like that. Um, attack speed increase seems pretty good. It's kind of low on this guy. What? What are these numbers? The base? Okay. So the base damage is 350. That is easily one-shotting all of these right now. And the crits are 1050. <laughs> what? What is this character? I feel like the numbers are very high here. Okay. Wait. Maybe we focus on this guy's attack. Uh, let's go some AoE damage with the poison. I like that. And then AoE damage with the poison and our skulls take out everyone else. Yeah, I think we even one-shot these mini elites right now. Okay. Uh, since we don't want to uh, heal for 15 minutes, we should also make sure we uh, don't take that much damage. Multi-shot increase, 4.9. Okay, more skulls. So these here, for example, will not drop health now, which is good. More pickup radius. We also need more speed on this guy. Kind of slow. Oh, since he's, since these uh, barrels do not, or crates, do not uh, drop health, they have a higher chance to drop the red crystals. Um, so it's actually kind of nice if you want to farm some red crystals, I think. Going on hard mode here, map one. Maybe. Oh, okay. Not stay too close. We don't take that much damage, though. We have decent amount of armor, I guess. Uh, I heard this one is really good. Like, two or three people said that in the comments. That this one is supposedly really good. Uh, it is a chance that, uh, I think on death... Of someone, if someone dies to the poison, it will spread it to another one. And if you have this very high, it will just spread even off screen or something and delete everything. I kind of want to try that. So I will pick that every time I see it. Let's let's see if that does anything. Um, okay. Also, 
Kill that. Whoop. <laughs> that is so strong. Okay. Um, I want more red crystals. So my... I almost have the... Skill tree upgrades done. I need a bit more red crystals. And I definitely need more hearts still to finish some. Um... But I also need 600 red crystals to get the rare items from the shop to get those unlocked. Whatever those are, actually, I have no idea. But there's a button that costs 600 red crystals. And uh, it seems to restock the shop with rare items. And then we can spend our gold again. I'm actually stacked up on gold a little bit now. Because... The remaining items that are in the shop I don't really need. I feel like yeah, some some items in shop are worse versions of other items in shop. One f uh, secondary affection ch chance here. Um, so I don't really want to buy those. And I don't know, I have like 2k gold now or something. Stacked up. Once we get those new items, we can finally gear up our characters again better with new gear can we also click click does that work do they all go there now they do <laughs> okay and each one of those deals 350 damage seems fine to me man I mean, okay, I was saying the Enchantress last time is the most broken character, but I take that back. I think this is way stronger, st uh, actually way stronger. It's 350 per hit. It's also multi-hitting, so the AoE of the fireball from the Enchantress is nice and all, and can hit even more enemies, I guess, but this one also can hit multiple enemies, and the single target damage is ridiculous. Holy crap, okay. Yeah, this this character. Also, this has more health, has more uh, weight limits, so we can equip uh, better gear overall. Um, even more magic resistance, I think it was. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this character is busted. <laughs> it seems. Okay. Before we get too excited, though, let's focus and try to beat this. I would like more movement speed. Very slow on this guy. Also, so far, I expected hard mode to be harder, but also, I mean, this character is busted, so... Get that real quick. Yeah, we're leveling very slowly, I think. That's definitely noticeable. Also, I don't know. It feels... Hmm. I don't know what the logic behind these uh, skulls is. Sometimes one skull hits something and then all skulls disappear. Yeah, like this. I guess because there was no other target, but I feel like it also happens when there... Yeah, there were other targets behind and it still disappeared. I think it's about targeting. If they all target the same thing and that thing dies, they don't retarget, but they instead just disappear. I think that's what's happening. Um, I mean, it's strong. It, 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 <laughs> no matter the logic here, and even if the logic here seems a bit odd and we waste uh, projectiles, it's still OP. Um, however, I would prefer if the projectiles were, would not disappear like that. It's kind of weird. I feel like retargeting would make more sense, and then just tune down the numbers uh, on the the damage numbers of these. Make up for it. I think it would feel better if the skulls wouldn't just disappear, but instead would actually still seek out a new target or something. At least for a limited time. Obviously they don't shouldn't have uh, infinite timer. Multi-shot. More skulls. 
more 350 damage shots. <laughs> Each extra shot is so much extra damage, it's crazy. This character is busted. Born. Eh, let me not take damage. I need more attack speed. It's uh, kind of inconsistent right now. Also use some cooldown reduction on the poison as well. Take out some groups like this. Since we don't have AoE damage with our main attack. Just multi-target. Kill that dude. <laughs> okay. Nice mini boss, man. Get some pickup radius. Okay, where do we go now? Uh, red crystals, need those. Yeah, I just follow the red crystals, I guess. Taking the gold as well, though. Since it's almost on the way. I could use, yeah, I think a bit more cooldown reduction as, yeah, here. Poison duration and cooldown reduction on this. I need that. I need those uh, poison clouds to be a little bit more consistent to take down, yeah, the groups that are getting close to me. I'm not sure if the uh, characters are balanced in this game. I feel like uh, the later characters might be stronger than the early characters. So Enchantress was pretty cool already and then this guy now. Let's see how the final one is. We are still missing one unlock. Curious if that one is even more busted. Nice uh, red gem farm, to be honest. 77 already? We, we get so many from... Oh, more of this, actually. Um, we get so many from these uh, crates. Yeah, we always get two, pretty much. I think we get two because I have that meta upgrade. To ra uh, randomly get uh, two drops instead of one. Another two... And we also go for the big one. Where is it? It was up here, right? Oh, there it is. Also, nice horn. Mm. Drop chance. Multi shot. Oh. I just realized I need to watch out for goblins. If I see a goblin cage, I cannot activate it. 
Um, I, I need to let the goblin rot in the cage. <laughs> uh, if I free him, he will drop red crystals, but also health. And I don't want to randomly pick that up. Okay, like six more minutes though, then we are done. But yeah, I still need, I don't know how many goblins, like 25 or something. So I only found five goblins so far, I think, and I still need 25 more. Uh, and that will unlock a new skill, actually. A lightning skill, I think. So, yeah, <laughs> it's going to take forever. I see s r goblins so rarely, and I'm still not sure if they even exist on the second map. I don't think so. I haven't seen a single one on the second map. Maybe they do, I don't know, but yeah. I might have to do, I don't know how many hard runs here on the first map. And then just uh, sprint through the map, try to find crates for red gems and also try to find goblins. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a plan, but still even then. I feel like I get like one goblin per run or something, maybe. That's uh, a lot of hours to get those, oh. Popping my potions that... Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, 2100 crit. I popped my um, potions that increase my uh, attack damage and speed and... Uh, my block and crit damage I think so I didn't pop a healing potion my first one is healing I didn't do that uh, let's get some doggos I think cool spider boss man 6000 <laughs> 6.3k man holy crap the damage Next speed. Do we one shot the final boss as well? What is this? And that's per hit, right? Is it? So I have seven skulls <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. Seems fine to me. The horn. Throw a little bit of radius there. Yeah, poison helps a lot though. These big groups. Or a multi shot. many different doggos especially in the green uh, poison cloud can't really see the green outline of mine all that well kind of confusing so uh, which ones I need to dodge oh magic armor Where are we going? I don't see red crystals anymore. Also two and a half more minutes. After that we could heal.
Moving towards the gold, I guess. Actually, no, there is no red crystal. Also, portal though. Yeah, let's. Can't go to the red crystal right now. Enough time. Go into the portal. Get that done. Okay. Do this real quick and then like one and a half more minutes. I assume, I don't actually know, but I assume the timer in here doesn't count for the 15 minutes. It shouldn't. Otherwise, you could just chill in here. I mean, maybe, but on the other hand, I feel like I was already for one and a half minutes in the first cave or something, probably. Oh, I should have gotten the achievement by now. On the other hand, I'm not actually getting a pop-up for that achievement, am I? I'm not sure, actually. Do I get a Steam pop-up? Maybe. I'm not sure if I get notified or not. If, uh, before the run ends. the mini boss give me the mini boss there it is and that <laughs> yeah i don't know man i feel like the damage number on the space attack is a bit high nice red crystals let's go and we move towards that other red crystal up there body shot Five more seconds. Uh, maybe more radius. seconds let's see if I get a pop up hey I did okay just got a steam pop up I don't think it's uh, recorded but I got a steam pop up also oh, oh that guy that one hurts uh, target Yep, 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 yep. Okay. A block. If we just, yeah. We have the damage already to, to beat this. Just uh, gotta not die. Mm. Also, we could move towards the heart now. To heal eventually. One hundred sixty three red gems already, and we are like halfway done. That's actually super good. Okay, this is uh, the red gem farm, I think. Going on hard mode here, first map. With the OP ne Necromancer, of course. I 
And not, not only red gems, they're also making the gold, of course. Okay, now I could pick up more pickup radius, I guess. I didn't want to pick up too far in case, I don't know. There's some health pickup somewhere that I don't see and then I randomly pick it up. Needs pickup radius when you can just get horns. X speed. Okay, where are goblins now though? I really would like to find a goblin or two. It's crazy how rare they are. I actually don't like that at all. For the achievement. I mean, they can be rare, but this achievement, like, find 30 and then unlock a new skill for that. I really want that skill. But finding 30, that alone is probably going to cost... That's going to take me longer than finishing the entire game. The entire rest of the game. By the looks of it. Which is a bit awkward, to be honest. Maybe it should be lowered from, like, 30 or whatever it is to, I don't know, 5. Armor. There's more red crystals, but I kind of want the heart now. I want to heal and not use my potion. Oh, by the way, I equipped that um, before the run. This is a new health potion. This one doesn't heal over time. It heals me to full right away in one click. And it increases my physical and magic armor by, I don't know the percentage. So I get very chunky. So I get full he healed and I get chunky after I take less damage. Uh, more of this. So this is just a better health potion, really. Speed. Yeah, attack speed does a lot on this guy. Attacking so slowly to begin with, and also the damage is so high, so bringing up that attack speed really helps, I think. go back to farming. Second boss incoming. Okay, and that is. Uh, let me pop my potions. <laughs> Man, this is so busted. Like, actually, this one is busted. Uh, this... Fine. Oh, here, I unlocked that. Okay. I want to see this one, though I, I was already thinking I want to do this one for my second run. Uh, as my first ability on the second run. 
I just unlocked that for, I don't know, I forgot what I had to do for this. I think pick up 30 of these horns of the magnets or something. Uh, some the dogger that fights at your side. Oh, kind of like doggos. We actually full summon a bit. We have doggos and those guys as well. And these hurt a lot, I think. Someone told me these are OP. I don't know. We will see. Not that I need anything that's OP right now. I, I, I will take those as my first ability in the second run. On the second map there. And then we fully focus on those. Well, or we see those in uh, with full upgrades, I guess. Because I'm not sure we can still fully upgrade those right now. It's our last ability here. Moving towards the red crystal again. Only 7 damage increase, but it's okay. More health for myself, I guess. Let me still get a goblin though. Like if I don't even get one per run and I need like 25, that's crazy. Unless there's a way to farm those somehow. Or to trigger those spawning or something, I don't know. Maybe there's some other logic behind it. Or maybe there's an indicator on the map somehow. That leads you to where it is or something. I don't know. Okay, I gotta go in there. More speed, less health. That's uh, fine. Not this run. Next run we focus on those guys. Okay. Let me get some more red crystals here from the chest. I'm actually not sure if we... We might have already gotten all potions. Because I have six potion slots in the uh, menu there. My, like, inventory thingy. When you start the game in the, in the shop area there. Oh, not in the shop area, in the equipment area. Uh, and I have three equipped and I have three of those six inventory slots filled as well. So I think it might be six uh, potions total. Or maybe I already have all of them. Oh, well, there will probably be more. I think there are still six, six slots that are locked. So maybe there will be six more potions eventually. Okay then. Sweet. Red crystals. 
And we keep moving to the right here. Next red crystal spawn. If, um, just in case, if anyone knows how to, if there's a way to farm the goblins, find them consistently or something, let me know. I would really like to unlock that. I think it's the lightning skill that is behind that. I would really like that one. Um, but yeah. Honestly, at this rate, I'm not sure I will get it before I'm done with this game. <laughs> because I will finish literally everything else before I get that done, I think. At this rate. Okay, we have like 233, so it's only like two and a half runs or something, or maybe even two runs or something. We get to 600 red crystals now. That's nice, actually. So we can unlock the rare items somewhat soon. What is that? Have I, f have I fought this guy before? What is that? Oh, maybe that's new because it's hard mode. Maybe this is a hard mode, boss. Um, he's dead though, and I don't, didn't even need my uh, potions here, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. This character feels good, man. Hmm, I should go to B. Oh, mine that was to the right. Never mind. There's more red crystals. I probably I don't know what the items will cost. I assume I still need more gold as well to buy the new expensive items, higher quality items. Oh here, there's, that's not a goblin though, that is whatever that this is. I still don't fully understand what this is. But that was not a goblin. mine then. Yeah, I expected hard mode to be harder to be honest. But then again, this class is completely busted. So not sure how this would go on a on an archer or something. Also I do have a good amount of meta upgrades now. Obviously, makes a big difference if you have uh, those maxed or partially maxed or not.
Okay. Anything else? Oh, there's another mine to the right. It's far away though. Again, this thing. Again, not a goblin. Okay. Also, we have all potions available. <laughs> Let's pop those against the final boss and see how long we take to kill that one. Oh, there's more red crystals as well. Give, give me that. tight in here okay got it all right raven boss let's have some fun cool man <laughs> A black hole skill and amulet of infinity. Let's go. We did that. Man. See? Main weapon. Almost 2 million damage. And the plague, 600k. And the plague is insane already. <laughs> okay. GG's. We go again on the new map. And I want the Draugr as my first uh, dude. Where's the amulet? Here. Freezes enemies for 10 seconds if the hero's health is below 10%. Ew. I thought it was be would be better, to be honest. I mean, I don't mind that, but I just like physical armor here more, I think, for the run. Eh. Okay, that's fine, though. And we have a new skill. So maybe we go for the Draugr first, and then maybe we can get the Black Hole as second or third skill or something. Okay, we go again. Also, let me finish some stuff here. Additional item chance, so we farm faster. Uh, what do we need? A block chance, sure. And now we spend this one. Ocean duration. Actually, cooldown. I don't know, both. Okay, I need six more and then I have the final upgrade here for red crystals. And the last ones are all with the hearts. And after that, all the red gems go into this here, 600. Then we do that and we get some new cool items. Okay, anyways, second map, let's go with the yeah Necromancer. Hot Sands. Um, I will, yeah, let me go to the skill real quick and I will restart if I don't get the uh, Draugr first. I think. Also, let me kill these first, though. Abradius. Multi shot. So, in theory, I think we might have already done the better build with going for the Plague as our main attack next to our base attack here. Uh, because that one was AoE and really helped a lot. And then our staff attack here is killing all the chunkier boys. Uh, Draugr, I think, will probably be somewhat similar to our attack here and only take out singular enemies here and there. 
so it's not as ideal, I don't think. Okay, he's done. All the XP, now we go to the book. Maybe we go black hole as well, actually. If we find black hole first and not Draga, we will go black hole as well. And not restart. Oh. Okay, let me just move now. Alright, what do we get? Okay, I restart here. Rip. Okay, I will be back in a second. Um, I might, maybe it takes multiple t uh, attempts. But I will be back with either Black Hole or Draugr first. See you in a second. I found a goblin! <laughs> so they do exist here on this second map. Okay, wow. Let's see if we can get the skill now though. I already did four runs and couldn't get either of the two. Are we more lucky now? Please. Hey, okay, we got black hole, I take it. Let's go. Okay, this surely looks awesome, right? Oh me. Ooh. That's look kind of awesome. Also, did that deal like 300 damage per tick? Okay, next time. Uh, okay, I'm not sure yet. Anyways, moving towards the resources. Black hole count? Sure. Let's let's litter the screen in black holes. That sounds good to me. 170 there on the explosion. Neat. Doesn't suck them in like perfectly consistently. I'm not sure what's uh maybe. Anyways though. Decent as uh, Ooh. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, it's also reducing visibility like crazy, but yeah, I couldn't see anything there. Um, looks cool though. Might be strong as well. Yeah, uh, okay. Black hole and, <laughs> and sandstorm at the same time. I actually, there's nothing I can see. Literally. What did I just take down from? I'm actually blind. Like, actually. Hello? Not sure I like this. I need a lot of damage and survivability and everything, so I don't need to worry about getting hit. Sub radius. Yeah, I need all of this. Auto. Actually, not more damage, I don't think. Let's try and make it, uh, get as many as we can and maybe make it bigger or something and cast faster, stuff like that. Um, attack speed. Oh. Okay, get this real quick and now we go into the portal. Pick up radius. Press it here. Okay. Save from the sandstorm. Oh! Why did those shots disappear? Also, where are my black holes? Okay, cool, man. It's casting black holes, but they don't appear. Maybe black holes don't work in the cave for some reason? Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, actually bugged, I think. Black holes don't work in the cave, it seems. Hopefully they still work when we're outside, though. Okay, this is a bit awkward right now. Die and not die.
Again. Why did you disappear there? <laughs> now I hear the sound of the black hole all the time, but nothing happens. Yeah, something isn't quite right with like the targeting of these and them disappearing when they shouldn't. Couple of uh, smaller bugs still in this game it seems. A tad more polish. You need, but again, it's early access. It just released an early access today, I think, as I'm making this video. So hopefully that will all be polished by the time this goes into 1.0. Speed. Okay. At least my main weapon is OP, so we just delete that. Huge. Yeah, okay. Black hole still works out here. At least. This couldn't see so far. By the way, I also need more movement speed. I'm too slow. Okay, it's that guy. Not doing anything, I think. Cooldown reduction. Okay, got him. Have I seen a single health pickup from the traits? Am I still on hardcore? I'd have to use my healing potion at some point. Or I just walk towards the heart, I guess. I'll probably do that. Okay, after the mine here, go to the heart. Yes, speed. Yeah, let's get some speed for now. Yeah, okay. Actually, I leave. Let me try to not use my health potion. I might have to, though. Talking like crazy. I don't need to walk towards the heart. I 
still not a fan of these hyenas, especially during the sandstorm. Basically impossible to dodge those. Coming in with so much speed and you don't see them. You gotta kill them before they get to you, basically. I'm not so convinced right now about this run. Hyenas are kind of crazy with the sandstorms in particular. Attack speed for sure. More. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least I'm memeing. If nothing else, I'm memeing. How do two black holes interact with each other? Do they swallow each other? Do they combine and get bigger? How does that work in reality? Is that even known how that works? Any physicists in the chat? <laughs> oh, in the YouTube comments? <laughs> oh! Another goblin! Huge! Already two, man. Okay, maybe they spawn more on this map after all, or oh, that's just random luck here in this one run. hyenas right now you it's very noticeable without the hyenas it's almost easy mode but hyenas are so crazy the speed okay boss time actually noticed okay popped my potion that also makes me faster because that guy one shots you when he touches you pretty much See? last time and we got him though Erect. Okay, now we go for more spawns, I guess. Yeah. We are going summoning again. Not the Draugr, but that's fine. At least Doggos. Traction force and area size. Okay, that sounds cool as well. Bigger suction. The hyenas again. Keep taking damage. Only a little bit from these small ones, but still. So difficult to avoid. Also, yeah, the black hole is um, <laughs> a little bit griefing sometimes as well. It's basically sucking the enemies on top of me. Oh. 
Hmm. Do I even like this? Maybe the black hole is grief, actually. More! <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure I can... I feel like I take damage every single time the black hole casts, no? Because something gets uh, sucked on top of me. Every single time. Avoided damage there. One, eight. Pick up radius. <laughs> I'm actually not sure I want this. This might be bad. I mean, we are already too deep in, I guess. Might as well. Go for the ultra suck. Honestly though, have I found a single green health pickup from the crates on this map? Not sure, honestly. I need to withstand all the damage. Oh, that one only did 15 damage to me with a shot. I have so much magic armor. Into the portal. Oh, here it is. All right. Oh, no black holes in here. All goes worked. All right. Yep. I guess we learned something new for science. Black holes cannot spawn in caves. All the MIT or whoever is leading in physics. <laughs> Hello, man. I'm uh, kind of wishing I had that uh, poison instead of black hole. Poison is kind of doing the same without the suction, without putting enemies on top of me. Plus it's working in caves, plus it's dealing damage right away and not only when it ends. An explosion. So it kills faster. Yeah, I feel like poison is just better. Comparison. A little bit different, the spell, obviously, but still, overall, I think I would pick poison every time over black hole going forward. I want to be strong.
time. <clears throat> Could use some healing though. Maybe I go to a heart now. I feel like maybe. Honestly, I wonder if I would restart and then play the second map if I would get uh, health drops more consistently from raids here on this map. I feel like the game still thinks I'm on hardcore mode or something and that uh, it shouldn't drop health from these raids. Something is off here. I'm not healing at all. Fine. <laughs> the ultimate suck. <clears throat> I see hard. I can't see anything. Oh, I got it. shot oh, and okay they got sucked on top of me I took insane damage of my potion okay yeah um yeah I'm not picking the black hole again, I don't think. Or at least not with uh, with extra suction. Maybe just one and then go for max damage or something. That could be decent. Uh, not multiple and not with extra suck. Speed for sure. I'm still super slow. I think for the rest of the run I mainly focus on walking towards the next heart since I want to beat this and since I'm not getting any healing from anything other than well actually the goblins still drop healing if I find one um, but the crates here don't drop healing I'm very certain at this point there's no way I'm that unlucky with health, health drops Ooh, another goblin though huge and that heals <laughs> and Another one for the books, another one for the achievement. Chill here for a bit until I'm somewhat low health and I take the health.
Lock everything. Okay, who wants to bet that black hole is going to get me killed this run? At some point I'm going to suck in one mini boss or something again and get hit and die. Back in one or two hits. I'm trying to get my block and defense and everything up. At the same time though, multi-shot. <laughs> Need more multi-shot. Okay, we got this. Where's the next one? Wait, there's no new heart! Uh oh. Okay. Less than a minute for the next boss. Physical armor. I dodge these, man. Uh, yes, I feel like some of the crates are empty now, and maybe they weren't empty before. And now, when they are empty, they were supposed to drop health, but they just don't. <coughs> right, there's red gems here somewhere. There, got it. Oh, wait. What? Purple red gem here? Hello? What was... What? I found a treasure. Oh, boss time. Uh, I need to pop my potions. Hear that dude? Don't suck him on me. Okay, he's dead already. Correct. <sighs> Draugr. Magic armor. Multi shot. Alright. I hope we will get to the boss here. Should be fine as long as we. I mean, I had got some upgrades on the health potion or on the potion uh, cooldowns. So I actually do have decent cooldown now. And I could actually use my health potion again before the boss. So hopefully that's enough healing to keep me afloat. Yeah, that's so much XP, you know. Block. health I think Uh. 
Yeah, I don't care about my skills, to be honest. Don't really help me anymore. I have the damage, I just need to survive. I wanna beat this map. Even with this stupid black hole. I'm getting kind of low though. Can I... Will there be a new heart pop- uh, will there- uh, will a new heart pop up at the edge of my screen if I move more or is it just on cooldown right now? I'm not fully sure how these uh, pickups work. Okay, portal. Pick up a little bit more here before I get in. Come on, XP area. So this, more damage I guess. Uh oh, hello. Block chance. Press the portal. Oh. Get in. Okay. What? Scam, man. I got hit inside here, from a projectile from outside. I'm so low. Okay, can we survive? 19 seconds after this, because the potion doesn't regen right now. Those are chunky, they actually take a few hits. Big stone golems. Alright, so that's so good. Got him. Alright. 19 seconds outside. Let me do that. Oh my god. Man. <laughs> that could have been a one shot. I blocked that. Also, I'm at 20 HP. I might still die. Cool black hole, man. Yeah, cool, man. It is. All right. Um, yeah, we go. Uh, we win next time, though, for sure. Without black hole. Um, th uh, this guy is OP, though. Uh, honestly, this guy with, like, yeah, poison, I think, maybe, as the one skill, would be... Uh, it's insane. It's just OP. You saw it in the first run. All right. Um, okay, not going to pick black hole ever again. Not with a suck, at least. Um, but yeah. All right. GGs. Man, we got further than last time, at least. I think we died right after the 10 minute, or so just below the 10 minute mark. Uh, no, we're at six minutes. So, anyways, next time this boss will fall.
All right, G and G's. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye, guys. Just after I finished this video, I started a new run, but before I did, I go went to the first map, I unclicked hardcore for the first map, and I went on the second web map one more time. First chest or first uh, crate I kill. <laughs> because I had hardcore checked on the first map, I didn't get healing on the second. And not only that, maybe everything else was harder as well. Maybe I leveled sl more slowly and everything. I, I might have actually just run a hardcore map to run. Cool, man. Thanks, game.